Litany of Gratitude After the COVID Pandemic Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help, when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory, now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. All together we say, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers and, and sisters, that they I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, in you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, 
you have taught us to hasten to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls. Enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princes, and our fathers for having sinned against you. But yours, O Lord, our God, are compassion and forgiveness. Yet, we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command, O Lord our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging 
and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packs together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are now in the second week of our season. It's Monday today. Every time, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the Holy Mass, the Holy Eucharist. From the start, we are all invited to acknowledge our sinfulness. We remember our fast, our of course, our present state. Inaalala po natin yung hindi po natin karapat dapat at mga nagawa nating kasalanan sa pagharap sa ating Panginoon. Mother, brothers and sisters, this is our human tendency. Lahat tayo ay marunong magkasala. Lahat tayo ay nakahagawa ng kasalanan. Every day, we commit sins. And now, mother, brothers and sisters, we are invited to recall all those sins that we committed. As we celebrate the Eucharist, we surrender all our sinfulness na ginawa natin laban sa ating Panginoon. Mga pagkakasala mga nagawang kasalanan at patuloy na ginagawa natin sa buhay natin araw-araw. And we can say, Lord, we have sinned. Panginoon, nagkasala ako. Lahat tayo ay may kasalanan. Mother, brothers and sisters, we are now in the season of Lent. The very focus of the season that we have is to look into ourselves concerning about our sins that we committed. Pinapahalagahan sa atin ngayon na balikan ang ating mga sarili-sarili upang tingnan ng malalim at tagos sa ating mga puso ang ating mga sarili-sarili dahil sa ating pagagawa ng mga kasalanan. We acknowledge, my dear brothers and sisters, our sinfulness with humble hearts. And now, we turn to our God, who is the source of overflowing forgiveness. We come together, even though, just like in our first reading of today, of what Prophet Daniel de describes us, shame face parang naihiyang sarili, may guilty sa sarili. But again, mother, brothers and sisters, our presence today, this is our positive action. We come to our God. We do a positive action to reconcile to our God. Mother, brothers and sisters, we acknowledge God who is the source who possesses compassion and forgiveness. And this time, we really need the indisputable attributes of God, the overflowing mercy and compassion. Ang awa at habag na siyang kinakailangan natin upang maging malakas at maging kasangkapan tayo para makilala ang awa at habag ng Diyos upang tayo mamuhay na may kaayusan. 
And today, my dear brothers and sisters, our gospel, Jesus gives us guidelines in order to enrich our holy season that we may experience real conversion and renewal. And that is patterned in God's way toward His people. Be merciful. This is not only for God, but we should imitate His mercy that is ready to give to everybody. Mercy that there is no exclusivity. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, mercy that is there is no exclusivity. We are all recipients of God's mercy. Sabi nga, tayong lahat ay nabubuhay sa awa ng Diyos. Lahat tayo ay gumagalaw dahil sa awa ng Diyos. If we receive the mercy of God in our hearts, in our minds, my dear brothers and sisters, we are ready to share and to give it to others. Ang pagpapatawad na ating ginagawa sa ating mga sarili-sarili at sa ating kapwa-tao ay hindi kabawasan. Bagos, ito ay para tayo ay madagdagan. Ang pagpapatawad, mga kapatid, ay hindi kabawasan ng sarili. Bagos biyayang dumadaloy sa atin para kaya nating ibahagi sa iba. We heard also in our gospel today, Stop judging and you will not be judged. Dito tayo magaling. Mga kapatid, dito tayo magaling. We are all judgmental. We are all judgmental to other people. As we receive and as we experience the mercy of God, and that is forgiveness of our sinfulness. But sometimes, mother, brothers and sisters, we act like judge. Tayong lahat ay mapagbusga. Sabi ko nga po kanina, we are all judgmental. Kumbaga, feeling righteous, feeling nagmamalinis, feeling nagmamagaling. Kung makahusga ng kapwa-tao, wagas. But again, mother, brothers and sisters, we come together asking for God's forgiveness. And truly enough, the Lord gives us His overflowing mercy and compassion. And today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are strongly reminded, you don't have the power to judge other people. The only power that you have is to pray for them. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a very difficult to do in actual or real life that we have. Marami tayong masasabi at masasabi at masasabing kamalian ng iba. Kaya nga po, sinasabi ni Jesus sa atin ngayon in our gospel today, Be merciful, just your Father is merciful. Ikaw humihingi ng awa, nakatanggap ka ng awa at habag, ibahag mo sa iba. Because there's no essence of receiving God's mercy kung hindi tayo marunong magbahagi sa iba. My dear brothers and sisters, in our, seasons to, our season today, we have three pillars. Pray, fasting, and almsgiving. Being judgmental to other people, ito po ay applicable sa ating tatlong haligi ng panahon ng kwaresma. Pray, not to judge. Fast, huwag tayong manghusga. At pangatlo, almsgiving. If we receive the forgiveness of God, 
we are ready to share to other people, not for judgment for them. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our celebration today, sana po pinapalalim na po natin ang ating paglalakbay ngayong panahon ng Kwaresma. We all understand bakit natin to ginagawa because of our sinfulness, we are now ready to embrace God's love, mercy, and strength. And by that, we are also ready to give it to others. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to God who is kind and merciful, who heals and pardons all our sins. And every petition we say, Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That the church may fulfill her ministry of healing and forgiveness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of mercy, mercy, let, let your, your love, love flow, flow on us. us. That government officials may show care and concern for the poor and the marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of mercy, mercy let, let your, your love, love flow, flow on us. us. That we may be able to see our own faults and refrain from passing judgment on the failures of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let, let your love flow on us. That the sick, the lonely, and the handicapped may find strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of mercy, mercy let, let your, your love, love flow, flow on us. That our departed relatives and friends may find peace and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of mercy, mercy let, let your love, love flow, flow on us. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Merciful Father, these prayers and intentions we bring before you express our needs and our hopes. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in your goodness this our prayers, O Lord, and set free from worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold brother to the things that the eternal endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, 
we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, of wonderful holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you fought out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we are blessed worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be God unto one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come thy, will thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the very source of mercy and compassion. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the skull to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, but only say, but the, only word, say the word, and, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us for its and alive. Please stand. Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, cleanse us of wrongdoing and make us ears to the joy of heaven. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. By our heads for God's blessing. Confirm the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, we pray, and strengthen them by the power of your grace, that they may be constant in making supplication to you and sincere in love for one another. Amen. To Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, refine the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.